Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to my channel, Creations by Crystal. I'm Crystal, and today you're going to get a lot of hand. <laughs> Only hands, actually, at this point. Anyway, just woke up. Late waking up, and I was late going to bed. But, um, this project was on my mind. What I'm going to be doing is a couple of horses, and I had sketched it out, and you can see they're so light, you can barely make them out so what i'm doing is going back over with pencil line really heavy so that we can do the old-fashioned scribble on the back transfer the the image to the paper so all i'm doing is going over lines that i drew to make sure it will transfer because if you don't have it dark enough it's not going to transfer over, and I don't use um, carpy, carbon copy paper. I don't use it. I couldn't find a place if, if I tried. So, letting you get a kind of a idea. And since I can't speed it up and slow it down, I'm going to put jump pause. Alright, we're going to do the old-fashioned way to transfer our image right onto um, our board. And I, what I'm doing is just trying to make sure I'm in good canvas focus. Okay, a little bit that away. Okay, I taped it down. Of course, naturally flipped it over so that front, which I always write on it, the front part, front, so that that's upside down. And what you're going to do is just going to come across... The, paper, the old fashioned way that we did when we were in grade school, probably. If you guys can remember that, transfer, you know, turning it over and transferring your pencil mark onto your notebook or page or something that you weren't supposed to be doing while you were in school. <laughs> I was doing everything but going to school, going to school. I had so much fun. Such great friends in high school and junior high, Florida. All right. Now I'm not going to put you through me doing this. But I'm, I did. I am curious to make sure that yes. Okay, image is transferring over. That's why I had to put the tape on. That way you can lift it up. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to put you on to be back. What I'm doing now is I've taken the paper off, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. I had a paper slide on me while I was doing it, so the eye didn't turn out very good. But I'm just going to come through here and uh, take a look-see and see what I can do about this eye. pupil in there, but I don't really need to hollow it out. Okay, there we go. That's better. Much better. I'm kind of thinking about doing a glue gun uh, application over this, but I haven't made up my mind yet. So hang tight. Crystal is being crystal and never really has a clear, clear, you know, plan as far as what I want to do. And I certainly didn't want to have to come here and try to now to sketch it back because it didn't want to 
transfer for me today. Wah. <laughs> I'm whining. Ah. I gotta do this by hand. Ah. Okay. That went that away, I believe. Something like that. And him had his little face. Could be a her. I don't know. I'll put eyelashes and stuff and see which one looks more girly. But they do look in love. That are just best friends. And as you see, all I am doing is uh, Open. Ah, my hair is getting caught. Okay, there. Alright. There we go. She is sketched on there. Pretty sure everybody's got a view. Didn't have my light on, so I want to double check to see how well this lighting is. There are the two horses. We've transferred them on here to our 10 by 20 canvas. I already said that. Just checking our... A lot of... Uh, the last couple of videos, I've been using a uh, glue gun for my drawings. There you go. See how nice and seamless it is? It's really easy. And they just turn out so beautiful. So, instead of going the frisket way and blocking it off and all of that, we're going to do this instead. We're still going to do the paint pour over top. Alright, I'm going to work a little bit more on this. All, you, all I'm doing is following the shape of the drawing, even the eyes. Okay. I promise to let you hear what it sounds like after you have done your canvas and tightened it up. It'll sound like a drum. Wait a minute, if I can hold it right. <laughs> Isn't that silly? But it is. It's tightened now. I don't have the sagging anymore. You see that? Okay. Be back when I have more. Hi, we've got our horses all done and lined with a glue gun. Isn't that neat? All nice and raised up. Now, what I want you to do is be real vigilant about finding the spider webs. Because when we apply the paint, which I think I may use the blow dryer um, to uh, spread the paint, but uh, it will cling to these spider webs and then you'll have all these funky looking designs that don't make any sense um, So go ahead and make sure to do that Sorry about going that this is my me and my channel So I shouldn't really apologize, but I do go in a different direction I may start out feeling one way and it'll completely flip like today when I started out with the frisket paper and it was giving me a really hard time at adhesing, adhe you know, sticking to the canvas. There you go. Um, for some reason, I really have no idea other than it was meant to be done with a glue gun. When something doesn't work, I don't fight too much. I put in a good struggle and make sure, you know, and if it isn't working out, I just move to the another, another method of doing it. And uh, pretty much, it, paintings make themselves. I don't know if there's any other painters that feel that way. Let me know in the comments if you do uh, do that. Okay, now I'm going to just finish cleaning up all my spider webs, and we'll be ready with uh, the paint pour. You can check all the paints. You want to make sure all your pouring paints are all in the same consi consistency. I can talk today and that's really important and so that's what I'm going to do after I pull out all of this stuff and I'll show you how it should look like running honey off your stick your paint and we'll show you that too okay I 
have already began putting some of the paint down in the negative spaces, I would guess you would call it. And I chose this beautiful purple. I just really felt like purple today. So that's going to be our uh, background is purple. So I'll let you watch a little bit while I paint. Ooh, I think I got a spider web. Thought I'd let you go ahead and see some more painting of our beautiful horses here. They're snuggling up together. And this is, yes, a poor medium paint that I'm using here that I mixed up. And I I usually do a lot of my paintings with the poor medium uh, liquid X into my paint and it gives it a really beautiful gloss yet kind of watercolorish too you can make it and I plan to do more of a rainbow effect on the mane and stuff so can use a popsicle stick. They really actually work better than the brush. No strokes and it's, I can smoothly move it around. As you see, I am the popsicle stick painter. <laughs> uh -huh. Fun to watch, right? I don't always get a lot of time um, because there's so much going on in my house a lot of times for it to be quiet enough to let you see me do the work. So, I'm doing the work for you. Letting you see. I'm just going to fill in this little bit here. And then uh, we're going to change colors and go another direction. And I'll get a little bit more done here. Just popping in and out so you can get a view of what I'm doing. that I shouldn't have. There we go. I know I wanted to put a little bit. Where did my crimson go? Here we go. Coming right along. I wasn't able to record as much as I wanted. Got a lot of interruptions going, but I've got here some acrylic paint down uh, just on the horse area, and I'm planning to do a kind of a swipe to see what we can get. So, next color that I want to put down. maybe a little bit of brown give him my paint one more look see yep perfect runny runny honey they call it so we're gonna run some honey through here I just use my popsicle stick to kind of drizzle the paint Just as you're seeing, boom, 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 and there, and I'm hoping
hoping it's being able to be seen by the camera. Let me just take another look so you see what y'all see. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's put in another third color. Let's see. What do I want? What do I want? I don't know what I want, what color. Um, hmm. Let me give it a think, see. Okay, I decided to come in with some of this maroon color. I may regret it. We will see. <laughs> this horse is going to have a very colorful mane. Here, there, and everywhere. Let's put a little more. I want to try some of the cadmium yellow in there. Okay, getting ready for the swipe. Another second here. And I did want to end it with a little bit of that more golden over the top. Oh, and also maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of drops of the silicone in my yellow. There we go. fun part is about to happen guys so hang on let's see what we can pull here if it doesn't work out remember you can always paint pour another one take yourself your paper towel or at least I do one and you're just wetting the end of it and then I'm gonna place it oh I need to put my uh the pouring medium. Hold on a second. Ah. Okay, I got my pouring medium on there. I put just a layer here. In fact, it needs just a little. It's pewter gray. So I knocked the camera. I hope I didn't knock it out of view for you. I need it a little bit more up in here. And a little more over here. There we go. Now, let's see what we can pull out our hats here. Just gently, one, two, three, lay it on there. And then you're just going to swipe. One, two, three, here we go. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, yes. Loved it. Loving it. Let's just set this out of the way for the moment. I want to come in just with a little piece right there. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. Okay. Let's get ourselves in there. Beautiful swipe. All right. We can already see some beautifulness happening up here, which I'm loving. The colors are gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? There's a little place there that's needing a little help. I'm just coming through with the edge of the napkin. Perfect. Give it a little help. 
<laughs> Isn't that fun when the cells start popping out? Okay, let's just give it a light torch. Look at those pretty colors. Oh my goodness. We may come back and do another swipe the other way. We just, uh, I really think that a glue gun, or not glue gun, but a heat gun works a little better than the flame, than torching it. But with torching, it takes just a little more time, I've learned, to just keep on so that that heat happens and we get that chemical reaction. Oh, we got some beautifulness over here. I'm hoping the camera is able to see it over there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Make sure that you can see it. There we go. That's as much as I wanna risk moving it around. some reason we were recording the ceiling. <laughs> I sure hope that that footage wasn't lost on this. Okay. And we're going to be doing the other side as well. Let me get that ready. Okay, we're doing the other side now. Yes, you can see Yes, you can see everything. I keep popping my head up underneath my camera. Okay, all I'm doing is drizzling the uh, same way I did on the other side, only for the other horse. Um, I didn't do any kind of variation, really, of colors. We're just going to go like this, and then I wanted to come through with white. Some party white. Put our swiping color down and then see some magic happen again. That lovely sound that you hear in the background is my uh, fish tank giving off that pretty rain sound in the background. Very, very pretty. All right, we're going to get going here, ready for our swipe. Again, wiping or wetting just the end of a uh, paper towel. You're going to lay it just like that. One, two, three.
There we go. There we are. Ooh, the other side, really. Quite beautiful. Don't want to mess anything up yet. Yet. Listen to me, I guess I'm expecting to mess something up. Kind of did right there a little bit. But looks like I came out of our, our line a little bit. No big emergency. Easy to fix. I mean, really, five second fix. This is beautiful. This is coming along. Go ahead and use our torch gun. Look at those. Those are so pretty. Oh my. And this one, not as much, but I noticed on this side, it just, the cells just kept on giving. Um, even after I'd stopped the torch. So, um, we're going to do the same here. Oh, I'm seeing some most beautiful development of cells coming that are breathtaking. Wow. Oh, loving it. Then we got to come in here and we need to do our horse's face. That's next. All right. Now that we've got our beautiful manes all done, we're going to come in and do the face. And I'm going to do uh, an opposite with a white swipe onto the face. Okay, so then I'll start putting some colors uh, that is a good choice for us and pretty. And uh, we'll continue. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of blue. Just kind of around here where the light maybe touched him. Okay, and we're getting ready to be able to swipe. All right, we're ready to swipe. I put a little bit of baby blue, golden hour uh, yellow from uh, Arteza. Um, every, all the paints are all from Arteza, but let's get to swiping. I've moistened our, I'm going to re-moisten it. Oh, here comes the nerves because this is a big part. Oh, mm -hmm. I almost didn't put down what I was going to swipe with. Oh, goodness. See there? almost made a mistake, didn't I? Let me see. I did not put any silicone in that. So, there you go. If you have any questions about my cellar accelerator, just ask me in the comments and be more than happy to to uh, tell you what product it is and where to get it. And the comment sec section would be on the YouTube player naturally right y'all knew that okay now I've got the point the uh, uh, cell activator and our wet paper towel is right here in front of me ready to roll so one two three and I'm just letting it do its thing Go on there, and I need a little bit right down in here. Not enough. 
not enough water there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Still on camera. Let's do a little bit of torching on the beautiful horse's face. I think this painting is going to be so beautiful. Right. We shall let it rest a little bit. Actually, I'm going to move the paint just a smidge it. See what happens. There you go. That's a little better. And I also think that I'm going to come through with a little bit more swipe because we're missing we're missing some paint. Yeah. I'm just laying some paint down here to get us started. He's gonna use a much. He's got a lot more black on him. Oops! I just splattered a little bit. Just grab yourself one of your wet mats that are close by. I've trained you well, you'll have had that ready. <laughs> Gotta be ready for the mistakes, I tell you. Okay, so anyway, back to what I'm doing. We are just putting down some paint for our beautiful, beautiful horse here. Excuse me. Alrighty. There we go. Pretty. I was thinking about him having him or her. I guess it's going to be the her is the very first one I painted. This one is the guy. This one's the stud. He's going to be black and white stood in love with his beautiful mare. There we go. Going so slow, I'm just going to give it a blob here. Around. Yeah, that was much quicker. Huh? I was torturing you guys with one little drip at a time. Let me grab this little white. Oops, I don't to need to grab. Just dribbled some more white right there. Okay, there we go. 
got that down. Next color. Okay, I didn't have you on. I meant to have the button turned on, but I did a, a swipe here um, with a, um, the pewter gray over brown and white and different because I wanted some different and um, the cells are just now beginning to pop or, or pop or arise to the surface. I'm going to come over and give her little girl. <laughs> How about it's a grown up woman horse here and then we've got our our male stud. I may come back through here and do a swipe with white. We'll have to see. You can see like right there. I'm not seeing much of anything going on. Singing now. <laughs> Leaving Las Vegas, we just watched. So good. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, the cellular activity is just beyond gorgeousness. It is really pretty. Wow, look at that. Hardly got any cells over here, but a multitude over here. Love it. There we go. All right, I'm going to take a step back. Clean up any areas we need and be right back at you. Here we are. Completed and done. Let me see if I can make sure to give you a good view here. Knowing me, I'll cut myself off. <laughs> it's laying flat or on the pegs I have uh, hammered in the back, but it's nice and level. But I got to show you this. Look at this beautifulness that's on the nose of the horse. Do you see what I'm seeing? I'm trying to show it so you understand what I'm talking about. Isn't it gorgeous? It is really beautiful. And then the, Look at, look at those babies. They're so beautiful. And like I said, the nose of this horse, incredible, wonderful. Okay, here's the other one. And remember, this is not completed, by the way, not completed. I have a face and everything drawn in on there. This is just the poor part and the swipe for the mane. And I don't want to go too fast or too slow. Look at that. Flowers. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, look at that. Some look like butterflies. And you get these red bursts of color. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And the lacing and everything. That mane, uh, look at that. Let's see if my camera will look at it, Pat, there. Look at that, oh, crazy. I am crazy in love with this, guys. I am hoping you like it too. Till the next one. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, leave me a comment on the YouTube player and a thumbs up maybe for a like. 
and um, subscribe if you haven't already and hi to my, all my other subscribers i am super happy have a great night or day or whenever it is you watch this video <laughs> there's our lovebirds <laughs> what do you think guys pretty i think it's really pretty let me come in a little bit I'm not sure if I like one of the horse's eyes. So I may adjust something. I'm not sure. Alright, if anybody has any suggestions or comments, please do so. If you're not a subscriber, please be one. I'd love to have you. I hope you like my horses.